Hello, everybody. I am Val. I'm Gus. Welcome to the Clown Town. It's so nice to see you here. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you'd like to leave a little like, a comment, a subscription, perhaps, that would be great. We'd really appreciate it. So today, we are going to be dipping our toes into the waters of a new MLM. Brand new in its pre-launch phase. This new MLM has a weight loss product. The company is called Awakened. The product is called Zenith. It's a 17-year-old product that was apparently on the market and did so well. It did so well, you guys. It did so well. It was so good. Then they took it off the market because of legal issues. Now it's back, but things change. Kind of weird that they're flexing a 17-year-old product. Anyway, this lady is one of the founders of this new company that try to have a level of empathy for people because we don't usually know what level of the company they're at, but she straight up said she's an owner. She knows what she's doing. Don't feel bad for her. You guys ready? Let's fucking go. We're doing this at two times speed also because we don't have time. Hey everybody. Cat! I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I know uh, a lot of people don't know what's going on, so I wanna spend a few minutes with you guys. Just a few. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so exhausted, but so excited. Hi, Debbie. All right. It's gonna be super quick, super, super quick. I know it's late for a lot of you. Hi, Michelle. All right, let me watch how many people out there are hopping on. Hey, hey. So excited to see you all. I have been on every hour on the hour on Zooms all day. Uh, I can't wait to get in my soaking tub because that's how I feel right now. It's just been nonstop. So I wanted to do this like on the fly just to give you guys just a tad bit of information and let you know that um, I've been in the direct selling industry, as most of you know, for 12 years. I've been in sales and marketing for 29 years. Uh, don't do the math. I, was, I started when I was five, so. Anyway, um, how do you start being a salesperson at the ripe age of five? I'm sorry, my darling. You were not a salesperson. Did you sell lemonade at a lemonade stand? Because I did too, and I'm not calling myself a salesperson. She has been in network marketing for 12 years. She knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. So all this about, oh, I've been on all these meetings, boohoo. Get in your gigantic tub and go cry about it into your wads of cash those ill-gotten wads of cash (laughs) anyway um it's been an epic ride uh but i have decided to move into an ownership position in the industry and own my own company i've known for a long time this is what i wanted to do it's on my heart to start my own company so to start your own mlm that's on your heart a scam is on your heart is your heart full of scams is your heart a little scammy whammy it's on your heart to start a business that runs on failure it probably had a lot of people's hearts to do a lot of things and they just can't because they don't have the mobility so you should probably acknowledge that it's on my heart to start a business no you had the money uh, I love you guys. I'm not going to give you much. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Sherry. Hey, everybody. Hey, Mary Beth. Um, I am super honored and humbled that so many people want to know what we're launching. We're launching something supremely exciting. I have not even fixed my face. So anyone who just said I look pretty, I love you. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. Um, hundreds of people are already reaching out every hour on the hour. Zero hype here. Literally, I did not expect that the rumors of me opening a company would cause this many people to reach out. I thought I had the weekend before this launches for me to rest, but clearly not. My husband's right here. He will tell you he's cooking. He's cleaning. He's taking care of the kids. He's feeding dogs. He's doing all this stuff because I can't literally can't be there. So here's what that doesn't sound healthy. You shouldn't have to be on the clock 24 hours a day. Yeah. Also, she's like, there's no hype here. Are you sure that you guys aren't trying to cause any hype with all your little weight loss product buzzwords. Don't lie to my face and say that you guys are not creating any hype. We're about to hear what she's about to say. That could be considered hype. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, Bob. Oh my God, I love you all. There he is. (laughs) He's shot. Anyway, he's literally husband of the year. Hold on. This is so not what I was planning on doing. But so I'm moving into an ownership role. I've been planning this and building this for a long time. We have a perfect, amazing, beautiful concept that's never been done before in the direct selling industry. Um, Thank you, Kate. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. I'm sorry, we could make a bingo out of things that they say, and I think that could be on the bingo. How many companies say that? It's different. It's revolutionary. It's groundbreaking. We're not like other girls. Never before. (laughs) This feels like it should be a prank, and it's not. I hate it. Yeah. Honestly, don't launch. Make this a prank. Prank the anti-MLM community. Prank us. We're putting all this effort into trying to stop you guys. Don't launch. Don't do it. Just Just don't. Just as a hee-hee, you know? Just don't do it. 
Um, so it pre-launches next week. I know. Don't get mad at me for just announcing it now. Don't worry. It's not too late to hear about it. So here's... Is that it basically saying, oh, to all of my Facebook friends who I didn't tell about this, sorry that you're not at the top of the pyramid. Little stinky. If everybody has an equal chance of doing well, time is not an issue. Yeah, they're always like, oh, time is of the essence with this business. You need to get in as early as you can. They're really just exposing themselves. It's a deal. I have um, good friends in the industry who have owned companies. I don't have just one business partner. I have multiple. And I am taking the role of chief, chief sales officer in our new company. You'll get to hear everything if you're interested. Um, we are not a weight loss company, but our first product is a weight loss product that has two patents on it. It has multiple university clinical studies plus a bio lab clinical. I did a little bit of research. There's a behind MLM article. Look up the behind MLM article on Awakened so that you guys can, you know, get that web traffic up on that article so that that's one of the first things that people see instead of the Awakened website. That study was doctored. They had to edit in the name Zenith. How the fuck am I supposed to take it seriously? How am I supposed to believe you? It's very rare in our industry to for a company to have a patent protected, double blind placebo study, university clinicals, plus it has white papers coming. Um, we have the worldwide exclusive rights. There was a big company in the direct selling world that was trying to buy it. We got it. I cried when we got it. Um, many of my friends and family are on the product. We were all losing weight. Why did you cry? Did you cry because you realized how much money you were gonna make selling that weight loss product to vulnerable populations? Such as new mothers and children? The reason why we're doing this is because Aaron Bees and Julie Joe, some of the saints of the anti-MLM community, they were doing a live on Awakened and we heard one of the representatives talking to someone on a Zoom and they asked if it was safe for new mothers, like nursing mothers. And she said, oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If it's good, um, uh, nursing, nursing moms. You know what? Great question. I actually asked that and I'm waiting Don't. for the final. Look, it's safe. No. One of those things again, it's safe, but they should really take it to their doctor. You heard the part about the kids. what they say about the kids? I was coming in towards the tail end of it, so I'll double check to make sure that that's what they said, but everybody was saying, oh my God, you're basically saying that kids can take this. Their exact words were, it is safe for all ages, there's no age limit, and they will come out with a kid's line. Eventually, <gasps> that will be the dosage uh, according to the kid which I am anti weight loss products all the way. But especially to children and nursing mothers, that is vile because those are very vulnerable times in your life where you're probably gonna feel self-conscious given the society that we live in. Growing up, I felt self-conscious about my body. If I could have taken a weight loss product as a child, I probably would have. That pisses me off. So the fact that they're going after kids pisses me the fuck off because I could have been one of those kids. It just, especially with kids because they just, you know, they're not fully developed yet so they don't have the full body mass that they're going to have. Taking a weight loss product and then just growing, they're gonna just want to take more. But also with nursing mothers, you need all of the nutrients that you can get and that includes that. You need it and your baby needs it if you are breastfeeding. Weight loss products when you're a nursing mom? No. No. Get that shit out of my face. <laughs> All feeling great. So that's our first product. You'll hear more. That's their first product? Oh, there's gonna be more. So are they gonna cure cancer then? Is that what's gonna come next? If you're selling weight loss to kids, you will do anything. You will truly do anything. Cancer's next, world peace is after that, and then maybe finally somebody will cure my chronic pain. <laughs> Awaken, don't do it, folks! Oh my god! Second, we have tons of wellness formulators that have come to us and said they want to help formulate products. So we have all kinds of amazing products that will be coming out. The product and the, the product uh, vision and the company is pretty powerful. We're doing mindset training that is free to you if you're a, of a member of our company. Free if you're a member of the company, which is not free. Oh, but she doesn't want to say that because then she's going to hook less people. That free hook? People love that. Who doesn't love free shit? Who doesn't love free leadership training or whatever the fuck she said? On the website somewhere, it says that you can change your own reality. So that's probably what that's gonna be. Stuff to rewire your brain so you can change reality. Okay, if I can change my reality, then why the fuck aren't there vibrators falling from the sky? 
in gentle amounts, of course, as to not cause injury to passerbys. <laughs> <laughs> also, all silicone. Some lube will fall as well. Some lube drops. Yeah, I'm thinking to see of lube. What the fuck are you talking about? If I can create my own reality, I wouldn't be in pain. I'd have a lot more money. The unhoused encampments around me would not exist. So why is it then? Oh my gosh, this sounds like that one guy. Joe Dispenza. This sounds like some Joe Dispenza bullshit. We still need to talk about him and Michelle Fawn. We haven't done that. We didn't do it. Mindset training from some of the best because mindset is literally what changed my life and caused me to learn how limitless I was. That's how I've earned almost eight figures cumulatively in the industry. Uh, so we're doing mindset. We're doing wellness. You're going to tell me that your little thinky thinks, that your little funky thinky thunks are what got you to eight figures? <laughs> Tell me that it's not because of your sales ambition and also because of your unethical practices within MLMs. I don't think a free mindset training is going to get 99.6% of people into that top 0.3%. That's mathematically impossible. Don't set people up to fail. Oh, wait, that's your job. Deception is your job, so keep lying. All different categories, okay? And our product, by the way, is all natural, which is super cool. Uh, Soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, um, super cool product. And it was, uh, it was on the market 17 years ago and, and did am amazing things, and we got the world wide right, so. You know what was really big 17 years ago? CDs. Does that mean it's relevant anymore or that it works the best? No. No. We got wellness and we're going to be teaching you the skills to be super, super successful in the industry. And we're doing something that's really powerful. So here's the deal. I'm so, you guys are going to make me cry. I have always said one of my biggest um, frustrations in the industry is being in the field. I've been in the field with my ear to the ground. Many of you have worked with me for many years. You know, I'm a hard worker and I stay in it and I do it full time and I bleed out for my people. But the problem is there's usually the executives who own the company have never been in the trenches, have never built a downline, who don't know what it's like to do network marketing, who don't know how to social media be a creator, who don't know how to be... Um, uh, in front of a crowd and what it's like to do a three-way call. And so I love you too, Sue. So you're telling me it's just that there's a disconnect between corporate and the distributors and it's not because of the way it's set up. That's your new tactic? Makes no sense. Um, I couldn't be more excited. Thank you, Jody. We're gonna get back to all of you. I, I actually have two assistants trying to sort through all the names and everything. But um, so one of my frustrations, which is what many of you have said over the years, which is the owners don't understand what we do. They don't listen, they don't hear us. And so because that's been my experience straight across 12 years, I knew one, that many women never get to the top and own a company. So I'm proud to be a female owner of a direct selling company, I could cry. And I'm all about, I love men, but hey girls, this, this should prove to you, you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you not see what that says about your industry? Is the math not mathing love? And just because one person got to a CEO position as a woman, doesn't mean that it's a win for all women, that all women can do it. I mean, look at Mary Kay, you know what I mean? That's their whole philosophy. And we still have half of the director's board at least being men. To be a female owner of a network marketing company is very rare. Second is we have other founders who are phenomenal people and you'll hear about them over the next few months. More importantly, not just being a female founder is, I'm here as a chief sales officer to help you build. I know what it's like to be not heard. I know what it's like to want to build it and but have things happen. Every company's the same. We all understand that all companies have a list, as Eric Corey says, of issues. We all do. Oh yeah, every company's the same. Every single company is exactly like a fucking pyramid. All of them. Oh yeah, every single one. Every company has their little issues. Every company has that little 99.6% of people that doesn't make money. Oh, all companies have that. But he will have issues, but I love the fact that I get to be there in the trenches with you guys, building it with you, and I already understand what you go through in the field. I know what it's like to be on these calls. I know what it's like when someone objects to what you're doing. I know all of it, and I've lived it for 12 years, but I've been in sales for almost 30. So the fact that I get to be there for you as an owner and as a chief sales officer to me is going to be epic because I am so proud that I'm going to be able to be there with you, building alongside you, recognizing you, cheering you on, giving the tools to be successful, teaching you mindset, and we have multiple master distributors who are ready to build this with us. So, um, a what? A who? What is a master distributor? I don't like that. Sounds like a like a Jedi term. Do you believe her that she's really going to be there with the people? Not for a second. She's just trying to get you on that hook. And the second you're on it, she's going to leave you to fucking squirm. Good luck. Let's just say this. We think we are going to sell out in our first 10 days or less of our founders packs. We believe we're going to um, see things happen very fast for us. And we believe it's going to be a very historic launch. We have some pretty powerful people and powerful formulators that have said this is a concept that they've never seen before. You don't know the concept yet. You're going to have to get on a Zoom. But the concept is brilliant. We've had people actually ask to have equity in our company. That's what they're saying. They're like, this is brilliant. You have to get on a Zoom to find out what it is, though. Isn't it NFTs? That's your brilliant idea, NFTs. How well are those doing right now? 
I'll take a fucking screenshot of your fucking NFT. I don't give a fuck. Bet. Be the first ones to do it in the network marketing world. Um, so other companies will copy and we're cool with that. But I like being first to market with things and I like doing things from the ground up. So uh, it's going to be an exciting ride. So since I am not in the field as a builder and I'm just here to support and help you, if you're someone who's watched me, if you've never done direct sales, I promise you I'm going to give you a company that'll make you proud. I promise you you'll be recognized even if all you do is ever just show up to be to, to, be, to learn. Uh, maybe you only make $20 and you're still special to me and to our to our company. You might not make any money, but you're special in our hearts. Because you're giving us money. Does that sound right to you? It shouldn't. It really fucking shouldn't. And we know that this isn't true based on experience. We've heard so many other stories of people who were really close to their uplines or to other people in the company that got cut off after they left. Shameful. So shameful that you're saying that because you're lying. You're lying. You know that's not true. Well, deception has been her job for the past 12 years, so. So this is very different. You can be in any deal you want. We're very new school. You can promote toothpaste. You can promote, promote um, hair extensions. We want you to be successful for, for with whatever you promote. We are not locking you into our company, but we do want you to know when you're in this early, you can do epic things at the right time with the right mindset and the right product lines, which by the way, this product is a unicorn product. Did we all hear that right? Did everybody hear her say that word? Did everyone hear her say the quiet part out loud? If you get in early, you can do amazing things. Also, unicorn product. I feel like that's how every MLM feels about their product. Yeah. That's how Elamir feels, for sure. That's how Prove It feels about the ketones. God, what the fuck is a ketone? I don't know, and I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> that's how Mary Kay feels about their makeup. You know what I mean? Like, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. They all have unicorn products. How does everybody have a unicorn product? You'll be blown away. So please be patient. I'm going to post on my page when our Zooms are, so you can hop on. But you will not be able to enroll with me because I'm not um, a distributor. So... If you know people uh, that are involved in the company and you've worked with them before, please go back to them. If you have heard it from someone, please go back to them and they'll give you all the information on the upcoming Zooms. We're going to be uh, open for business next week. We will, I will post it here and go live to let you know so you won't miss a thing. I promise you will not miss out. And um, I just want you all to know how much I love you all. Uh, the support you've given is amazing. You're going to hear the haters. You're gonna, I've, I've had haters my whole life. Most of you have as well. You're not doing something epic if people aren't lying and, and saying bad things about you. So it rolls off my back. I'm unmoved. I'm unmoved by all the chatter. If anything, I'm, I'm kind of honored and humbled that they think I'm uh, 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 that our company and I are that powerful. So more power to us, right? If we're not, if we're not making waves, then we're not going to make history. So I'm unmoved. We don't think that you're powerful or a danger to us or, or well, I think you're a danger. We think that you're unethical. We're not going after you because we're like, oh, here's some big powerful business that's going to do great things. Let's hate on them. You have an unethical business model. So we are going to go after you and hate. And let's be clear here, a powerful entity does not need to be a ethical entity. But she's saying like, oh, when you're a powerful entity, other people want to talk about you. Yeah, but sometimes that's a really harmful thing. You think that Donald Trump made all those waves because he was saying some nice, cute little stuff and he was being good? No, he was not being ethical doing that. And he still made waves. So yeah, that's true. But that doesn't mean that it's a good thing. Like, what is she trying to say? I don't understand. Oh, it just means that you think we're oh so cool and we're oh so big. We're gonna shake the system and you're scared. And that's why you're coming after us. Prove me wrong. I want to see your income disclosure statements in a year. And I want to see that the bottom 90% of people are making good amounts of money every year. Please don't be moved by any of the chatter. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't let it steal your dream. You have a chance now to be a part. And I know this. In my previous company, we did over 500 million in sales with our team. And many of you watch that. Don't miss this. We're going to go to a billion fast. I know it. That is a thought stopping technique. Basically, she's saying, oh, don't listen to them. Don't listen to what they have to say. That's going to steer you away from the path to your greatness when it would just be giving them probably good information. The naysayers are probably people that love you and don't want to see you get used by a shitty company. I know what my business partners are capable of and I know what our master distributors are capable of and I am supremely excited to launch this. There's so many of you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed soon after I take my bath and I'm gonna answer all of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we get to you. I promise you, you won't miss out, but I am super proud and super honored to be a female owner of a direct selling company. And I am so excited to be partnered with some people who have made big waves in the industry. I'm thrilled about all of our formulators that are so excited. And I'll leave you with this last thing. 
one of the formulators that's making us a product said, so uh, what did you end up doing as your first product? And we told him it was weight loss. We told him the name of it. And he goes, I've done this for 33 years. He goes, that's the best weight loss product they ever launched in, ever in the history of his 33 years of formulation. And he's a competitor. And he said, hands down, you guys just got the worldwide exclusive rights to the best product in the planet for weight loss. And when you start to see my pictures, my husband's, my friends, my family members that have been on it for a long time, you're going to see what we've got and you're going to be excited. So I'm who gives a shit about weight loss? Seriously. The percentage of people that genuinely need to lose weight for their health is probably so much smaller than our society makes it seem. I don't care if you have a great weight loss product. Genuinely, it's shitty at its core because it's using misinformation. And it's not even like they're specifically saying, oh, this is a weight loss product for people that medically need to lose weight. No, they want as many people to buy their products as possible, so they're making the range as wide as possible. And yep. it's fucking disgusting. We're here to change lives. I hope you partner with me and the company. I hope you put your trust in me because I will not let you down. Uh, and it's not about me. It's about making sure you know that my loyalty to you and my... Um promise to you as the founder of this company is that you will be heard you will be recognized even if you do nothing as long as you partner with us you will always be special you will always be valued and we will listen to you because you signed our checks okay you guys run the show we're here to support you and help you be massively successful did she just say you guys sign our checks well that's a statement i can't refute we will love you no matter what because you keep giving us money bring it on up baby bring it on up keep bringing the checks up i don't care if you're not making money bring it up it's fine you, she said it out loud with her whole chest and she didn't think there was anything wrong with that statement. She really didn't stop and reflect like Jinx Monsoon did when they were doing a line of coke off of Evie Oddly's dick in a joke. I had time to stop and realized I'd become my mother. My story of 12 years of being dead broke, you know, foreclosures, that's what got me into this industry and it's rocked my world. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys walk the stage. I'm, I'm so excited to see you build something really big. Lauren, I love you, I miss you. Um, it, don't miss it. That's all I'm going to say. Even if all you did is look, don't miss this. I love you guys. Have a great night. God bless. We'll announce it soon. We'll see you next week. Scarcity tactic. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Sign it now. Sign my check. Sign my check. Sign, Sign my, my check. check. You can count on me. Can I? Can I really? I really don't think so when you just said that. Basically saying the reason that you will always love and accept the people in your business is because they are signing your checks. This is really bad. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Please get the word out about this. You know, even if you're not like a huge content creator, you know what I mean? If you're a mom, let other moms know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If just like let other people in your community know about these things. Even if you don't think you have influence, you probably do. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.